Hi, Coach Brenda Hare here, or AKA Process Queen, your Process Queen, breaking down another process for you. So this one has been something that's been on my nerve for a while now. And this morning when I was studying in God's word, um, he just said, yeah, this is what I want you to go talk about. And I, I want you to share this. And I was like, mm. Okay, <laughs> if you insist, God. Um, but here's the thing. I think sometimes we get really comfortable as Christians in what I call coffee mug theology. So we get really comfortable with parts of Scripture, or we'll even pick out Scriptures that, and, and speakers, as a speaker, I've done it. I know other speakers have done it or continue to do it. Um, they'll pick out scriptures that apply to the topic that they're talking about, which is fine if it actually all applies to it. The problem is, is when they leave out the other parts or when they allude to the fact that the other parts aren't necessary. And so what I want to break down for you is, um, I don't even know what we're going to call this segment of videos that I'm going to be running um, here on my channel. I don't even know what we're going to call these. Um, maybe we'll call them the whole story. I don't know. It's kind of funny. I thought of um, that old commentator that used to say, and here's the rest of the story or something like that. I don't know. It's kind of before my time. But um, I thought of him and I thought, you know, that's the thing. Here's the rest of the story. Here's the whole story is what it really is, right? It's the whole, it's maybe we should call it in context because that's what it really is. It's more of reading God's word in context and what it really says and really means. And so I'll give you an example. Um, and that's kind of how we're going to dive into this. I'll give you examples one at a time as, as God gives them to me and shows them to me. And if you have any specific, like a favorite verse that pops out to you and you're like, I really like this verse, but maybe I want to dive deeper into it. Drop it in the comments and let's see what God does with it. Um, if he gives me more insight to explain it differently or or shine light on it for you, I will be happy to. Um, but ultimately, his word is his word is his word, and I'm not adding or taking away from it, okay? So what I want to do, though, is shine light on it. That's part of my gifting. Um, I'm a process queen. I break down things so that they are simplified for other people, including God's word. And so here we go. We're starting in James chapter 4, and this is the part that people can quote off the top of their heads or that they will say often to each other. Um, I hear it a lot in passing and so I want to read it to you and then I want to fully read it. Okay, so this is the part. It says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Boy, that sounds good, doesn't it? Resist that devil and he will flee from you. Uh-huh. Okay, but let's read the other parts, okay? So that is actually from James chapter 4 verse 7. It's the second part of that verse. The first part of that verse is a requirement for us. And that says, so humble yourselves before God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So we need to humble ourselves before God. It, it's, it's, it works together, okay? So people will say, resist the devil, resist the devil. Okay, if I go around in my own might all the time trying to resist the devil, it ain't gonna work. But if I can humble myself before God and say, oh, Lord Jesus, I humble myself right now at your feet. This is too big for me. Please help me resist the devil. Please help me so that he will flee from me. It's, it's not about us, right? I can't do it in my own might, period. And so the whole resist the devil, resist, I am not resisting the devil, okay? <laughs> it's by humbling myself and resisting that God will make the devil flee, okay? So let's, let's just be real clear on it. So it starts with, so humble yourselves before God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you, okay? Then the second part, of, the next part of that verse, verse 8, so again, we're in chapter 4, this is verse 8, says, come to God, and God will come close to you. That one sounds really good too, right? People are like, oh, draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. Come close to God, he'll come close to you. He will, but let's keep going. The second part of that verse says, wash your hands, you sinners, Purify your hearts, 
for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. So we have a responsibility there too, right? So in the first verse, verse 7, we have a responsibility to be humble before God. In the second verse, we have a responsibility to stop dividing our loyalty, ultimately stop dividing our loyalty between God and the world. We need to choose. If we choose, that's going to clearly help us separate between being a sinner or a saint, right? You're either a sinner or you're a saint. Now, you may be a sinner and wish you were a saint, or you may be a saint that still does things wrong sometimes, right? Because once you're a saint, once you are walking with God, you are a saint. He has made us righteous. Now, I may be a saint that still messes up every now and then, but it's not, I'm not doing it directly to sin. I am not being, well, sometimes we are disobedient on a purpose. We're, we're aware of our disobedience and that's a problem. That's what he's talking about here. He's, he's telling us to draw near to him so he'll draw near to us. Come close to God and God will come close to you. Wash your hands. You sinners, he's calling us out. You sinners, wash your hands. Purify your hearts for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. This is, this is the, the verses, right, that they're talking. This is James talking about to us about drawing near to God. This is where we should stay is near him. But we get so caught up with our world we, we pull away and we try to do it in our own might. I know I'm just as guilty. I pull away. I try to do things in my own might. I started this year out, and it breaks my heart that I got away from this, but it started my year, I started my year out. Um, I'm gonna be real transparent with you guys. Every day I was coming to you on a, on a Facebook reel and I was sharing one of the prompts from the Victory Journal, the Victory Channel Journal. Um, create your victory channel. 365 journal prompts to capture the goodness of God. And trust me, it's worth capturing. But at some point in the last few months, I have stopped coming to you in reels. Now, the, the reason why has nothing to do with this or nothing to do with God necessarily. There is some resistance. I feel the enemy is trying to get in there and, and cause, some, um, cause me to be disobedient, cause me to, I don't know, pull away. I feel that, right? But I also feel God's waiting and he's saying, okay, come back, come back. And so I'm coming back. Reels will be happening. It may look differently than it did before and that's okay. That's totally okay. And that was part of the, the issue was that the technic, technical side of it was just bleh. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like making a video that was eight minutes long like this one and then having to chop it up for reels and try to get out on reels. It didn't I didn't like it. It felt icky and it felt disconnected. And um, so I switched over to the YouTube channel and that seemed to work really well, except then the Facebook people weren't getting it. And it was just this mix of where am I putting this? How's it working? And all of that, I let all of those silly technical things get in the way and I stopped doing it. And not only did I stop doing the reels for you, I stopped capturing the goodness. I stopped doing it. This is the book I wrote for goodness sakes. But God brought me back to it recently. He, he was showing me over and over um, about his goodness. And one of the things, um, I was recently on a trip and God was in the details. He was so in the details. And I had just gifted this to my dad and I was explaining to him how to use it. And um, I'd gifted him the journal and said, this is how you use it. Remember what happened to us last night, how God, the timing of the boat pulling up with the moon and all the stuff. It was this really neat kind of situation that happened. Um, and we opened it up and I, I can't even remember what page it's on now, but um, I opened it up to, yeah, here you go. Um, it's on page 14. Um, and I wrote January 6th because that's what happened. I have a prompt. That's the first day we went through this. But I'll go back now, today, right now, and I'm gonna add in what happened on that day at the beach. And it was actually August 7th, I can write it down because, no, um, August 2nd, because it was the day after my dad's birthday. 
um, we were chasing the full moon, and it was it's pretty cool how God lined up all the details. But ultimately what he did in that is he lined up the details and said, you need to come back. You need to come back to doing this. And then this morning, not only does he want me to come back to doing this with you guys, um, he wants me to do this new thing. And I don't even know what we're calling it yet. The whole story, the in context, I don't know what we're going to call it, but we're going to dive into some um, Bible verses. And you know what's funny is I thought about calling it something like... Um, not coffee in scripture. I don't know. I don't drink coffee. So I thought it was kind of, you know, you hear all these cute little quotes or sayings about um, people, well, you know, coffee and, and Jesus, or I need my Jesus and my coffee. I don't need my coffee, <laughs> but I certainly need my Jesus. Um, not that I don't get caffeine in other ways, but I don't drink sodas or coffee. Um, so maybe I should say uh, green tea and Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, that's that's how I get my 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 caffeine source, um, but ultimately it's it's debunking the coffee mug scriptures, right? It's debunking, and it's not that it's debunking the scripture necessarily. It's just putting it in context, and bringing the whole. It really is about our responsibility. This is what it comes down to, because I think so many times in God's word people will read and they only read his part. They only read the promises of God and they don't read what God says we need to do. And he's been showing me this a lot um, through the scriptures of, you know, do not fear. If you read any of those scriptures on either side of those scriptures, and maybe that's the ones we'll start with, I don't know. On either side of those scriptures, he actually tells us our responsibility. So I, I hope that maybe that's what I call it, our responsibility. I don't know. And the, We'll figure it out. If you have a good name for this segment, <laughs> if you will, drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to collaborate and, and know what your thoughts are on it. So uh, drop it in the comments. Until then, know that I am in his word praying um, over this. Certainly going um, all in with all the books he's got me working on. Um, he's you know got a backlist, a to be written list for me for over 80 books that I have jotted down. Gave me another one the other night in the middle of the night. I didn't write it down because I'm like, no, but it keeps rearing its head. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So um, you never know what's going to come book wise. I do know that um, one is in interior design right now. Well, actually two are. And so more books are coming, which I'm really excited about. Um, neither one of those are, are necessarily Christian focused books. So they don't necessarily apply here to this um, topic today, but they are certainly books that may interest you so I'll of course post about them when they when they happen but know that God is doing a, a mighty work in my heart and there are many books coming um, but one of the works he's doing right now is to share with you guys the truth and dive fully into his word not just read it on a coffee mug so help me name it help me name this segment and let's have some fun with it drop your verses and let's discuss how we're going to move forward with this segment okay thanks